Hello everyone. In this video, you are going to see how to set up optimization workflow using parameterized model in SimLab and run optimization in HyperStudy. The next step is to complete your physics. The first thing is you need to mesh it. So under mesh, you can go with the motor mesh. Uh, we do have a couple of tutorials that you can follow to, to, to see how to mesh using motor mesh tool, how to mesh your model. And once you mesh it, you'll have your meshed models like this here, which you can use uh, to complete your uh, physics like by uh, calling a solution. Here I'm using magnetic transient and then complete everything for your analysis by defining your periodicity infinite region and then everything completing from your left to right and once you have this you're ready to solve so all you need to do is just right click on your uh, results and then update and after solving your model what you will see is i have a solved model here um, so you'll have your solved model in here and then uh, you'll see all the, that your results is a, a green tick mark. That's mean, that means you have all your results here. And now to create your outputs that are needed for your design of experiments or for your optimization, what you need to do is right click on your results and then under response, um, select EM response. And then with this, for example, as you see, these are a little blurred, but yeah, here. So to get my average electromagnetic torque in here, what I did is just select your electromagnetic torque and then select what you need, if it is maximum, minimum, or average, or RMS. So here I selected uh, our uh, average, so that's what you see it in here. And similarly, uh, you can do the same um for your voltages so i want rms so what i did is i selected all three of them and i wanted rms and then once i have it i just selected create which will create three more outputs for me and then uh, for the torque ripple uh, we need um, maximum and minimum values for our electromagnetic torque so for electromagnetic torque, I'm taking the maximum value and then created it. That's how I have this one. And then for and the minimum value. Uh, so that's what is this one. And once you have this, uh, you'll have you'll see the values of what you have for the solved model. Uh, so with this, you have your outputs and now moving on to how to do our DOE. So that uh, comes in here. So under analysis, oh, I, uh, let me just delete this solution here. So that's why I'm not seeing it. So once you have your results here, uh, before going into DOE, make sure under, uh, so you, you define your environment variable correctly. So to do that, go into file preferences and under that you'll find a user defined environment variable where you need to give a path in within SimLab to find the where your hyperstudy um, execution execution file is saved. So you need to give a link in here and name it as uh, the variable name that you see. So that will ensure that you are linking your hyperstudy to SimLab correctly. And once you have this here, um, Another thing is uh, also within HyperStudy, make sure uh, you have your solver script as well before you start doing it in SimLab. So to do that, under Edit, Register Solver Script. And under that, uh, if I expand here, so make sure uh, for your SimLab, you have your in, uh, installation file uh, link, put it put in here. Um, okay, let me see. So it ran, but yeah, I'll I'll get um I'll give you the link here, but it will you'll find it under simlab.bat in the same link which you are using, a uh, similar path which you used within simlab. So it will be under the similar folder. Uh, once you have both of them configured, so what you need to do is go into your um analysis. And then under, oh, no, no, wait. Uh, so under results, yeah. 
Okay, so under solutions, you will find an option called DOE. So once you do that, and then you say using solution, and here you select your solution. Ours is a magnetic transient, so you'll find this, and then click OK. And once you have this, you'll find this option automatically open. So just click on it. And then it will ask if it, if you have the latest one or something older than 2021.1. So you need to have this installed in your computer before you start doing this, which is nothing but the hyper study should be installed. And once you have this, just click yes. And select the folder in which you want to put your um, optimization so i'll just do opt and then i'll select this one and then select the folder and this will automatically open hyper study for us waiting for it to open yeah so now this opened for me and then here this is where you'll see your um model uh, created and then all you need to do is import variables once you do that you'll have all your input input variables brought into here uh, so you can use all the variables or you can unselect some of them and then just use only a couple of them also but make sure you select all uh, the input variables that you want and then you give your range of your lower and upper bounds in here. But this is just a reference one, so you don't even have to change for your nominal run. So this is just for the nominal run with the same values that you have in the solved one. And once you have it, next. And then make sure you run your definition so that you don't you see all the values brought into here. And then once you have it, uh, you'll see the uh, results brought in here. And then you will ha you have your maximum and minimum value of your electromagnetic torque. So you can also define your own output response, which is nothing but we want the torque ripple. So you can add a new response, name it as torque ripple. And then you can give its expression as uh, with the outputs. I'll just add this one as a variable, minus maximum and then minus minimum. And then this should be over average torque, insert variable. So this will give us our torque ripple. And then this will give you the torque ripple value. So now all you need to do is just evaluate so that it will give you your output response. And once you have this, um, yes, here. So what I did is I did the same thing. So I got the in uh, model. I have the input variables. I just selected control angle, speed, and dy. I, I did not run this because it's not needed. But within the DOE, uh, I started running it along with the DOE in here. So I did not run it in here. Uh, so, But to add a DOE, I'll show you the process here. Once you have this one, so all you need to do is just do an add. So either you can uh, click on here or anywhere somewhere here. And then just click DOE. And once you click on it and give your initial approach that you wanted, I'll be going with the reference one, which is nothing but the nominal. So set up, click OK. And here, you need to have your output responses defined. So that I have already. And then for the specifications, we need to have our objectives also defined. So I'll add my goal here. So for my magnetic torque, I wanted it to be maximized. And then you can add more as well. So the other one is, um, I don't have the torque ripple here, but you can also put a constraint for your RMS voltage as well. Like give a constraint and it should be less than or equal to, for example, 110. And then you can add more objectives also that you need. And then moving on to the specifications here, Select your uh, method that you want to do for your DOE. Give how many number of runs you need. This will be by default recommended by your uh, by by our algorithm based on the number of input variables that you have. And once you have it here, and you also can change it. Just apply. And once you apply, all you need to do is go into next step and evaluate. 
So I did the same process. And then after running the complete DOE, I have evaluated almost 100 runs in here for the same model. And once I have all of them, you can do your post-processing and see under Pareto plot how each one of them. So I am I have my input variables as speed, uh, height, height of my uh, magnet, and then the control angle, and how each one of them is, is affecting. So this is how you can look at your results and also do your DOE. And after having your DOE, you can also create your fit as well so that you can do it from DOE just after running your DOE add and then you can do your fit of your existing data. And then you use your DOE as your input. Now minus DOE one and then OK. And once you have this here, uh, you select your specifications. Uh, select all your outputs that needed. If you don't want anything to be fitted, you can also unselect. And once you have it, uh, you select your approach as your DOE one and then apply. And once you have it, go through it and then you just evaluate. And once you evaluate, it will fit for you. And you can see the fit. It, it completed the fit with the DOE that I did and then it post process it and then it will give you a fit value. And after fitting, all you need to do is do your add your optimization. So I'm going to add an optimization with my input as my fit in here, fit two. And We're then getting to the end. Huh? Yep, yep. I'm completing done. So I ha you have your goals. So just do your uh, maximize. I'm just maximizing my electromagnetic torque. You can do the same for rest of it. And then here you select your method and then uh, give your number of evaluations. And once you do that, next, and then you do your evaluation. I did the same for my optimization here. And then you can see for your, uh, I did the evaluation. It gave a couple of, the green ones are the good designs that you can go with. And then under post process in optimum, you can see how your average torque is changing with respect to your magnet width. So that's how you can do your optimization, um, DOE and optimization, calling your SimLab model into your hyper study and do it. Thank you for your attention.